Okay, so I'm, I'm Ashwini Ashokan and I'm a user experience designer in the use, user experience group within Digital Home. And the project we have here on display today is uh, talks about designing for the middle and upper class um, families, communities in the emerging markets. So um, traditionally, the term emerging markets has almost always, you know, painted a picture of poverty and rural uh, markets to our entire industry. I think, and and that sort of, you know, for a very good reason. But um, one of the things that we have missed as an industry is uh, is that there are 300 million households out there in the middle and upper classes of these emerging markets. So we're talking about Brazil, Russia, India, China, Turkey, uh, Egypt, and a whole bunch of other countries. And we're talking almost one billion people with almost you know $5,000 or more in the form of disposable income. And you can imagine what that purchasing power amounts to in local currency, right? It's a lot of money that these middle and upper class uh, households are living with and are waiting to spend on technologies and, and things that, you know, specifically technology because it reflects a lot of their identity and who they are and the way they want to live their lives. For here, what we've got going in this project is we've created a series of product concepts and, um, you know, designed multiple different technologies and, and product categories that basically say, you know, low cost is not necessarily the answer to these markets. We can't continue to focus just on low-cost technologies for these mar markets because they live lives way more advanced than we really sit here thinking about. And so, you know, we've gone to many of these countries, studied people, the way they live their lives, the way they interact with technologies, and also come back, designed pr products for them, gone back and tested them. And, you know, we've, we've really got multiple different things going for us here in terms of, you know, the way people are living their lives. Okay, so if you take this example of the single statistic you've got going here, this is basically says India, and the statistic here says that India will be the largest pay TV market in Asia by 2015. And, you know, when you think emerging markets, people are not thinking, what do we do in the, in the TV space or in the CE space for the emerging markets? And that statistic is sort of an example of the kind of opportunity we have in these markets. What we've got here is a whole bunch of new product categories that sit in the middle of PC and the mobile phone, that sit right in the middle of CE devices and the mid devices like we know them today. So we're exploring the spaces in between these product categories the way we know them today because they haven't, you know, grown as a market in, in many of these countries. So we're trying to expl see, you know, what, what is that missed opportunity right in the middle of these product categories. And, you know, we're trying to bring in things like new devices that offer, um, you know, both shared and private use, um, multiple different um, mobile solutions that help people find information across social networks. So information is not available online like it is in the rest of the world to most of these markets, even though they're, you know, um, they have a lot of money, but they still don't have the centralized infrastructures. And and so we're trying to find new ways of bringing information in the way that people really share them today. But how can we add the mobile product in there, something that's very different from what they already have, and support the way they live their lives today? So, you know, hopefully we'll move a little beyond low cost and a little beyond the product categories we know today and come up with new solutions that really resonate with the way they live their lives and it's unique to their culture.